Hey guys, welcome to Susan Shares today. I have a really special message today, and actually it was handed to me on a silver platter from a friend named Chance Scoggins from Nashville, Tennessee. He is a wonderful man of God, and he is a friend of mine, dear, dear friend, and he posted something the other day. It was October the 10th, and I'm going to read it to you, what, what his post was. He said, Sometimes people don't deserve the kindness that we feel drawn to show. It's an internal tug of war until we realize again that it's not about what someone else deserves. It's about who we want to be. Do it anyway. You'll feel better. Now, knowing Chance the way I do, I, re I recognized immediately, boy, he really must have had someone that was really quite rude to him or an encounter that was not pleasant. And it was truly, as Chance wrote, a tug of war within him to be kind and nice to that person. But he was so glad that he did. That was God inside Chance, I can assure you of that. You know, in Hosea, it says we are naturally bent away from God. So given of our own Selves. We are rude back when somebody's rude to us. So it is an intentional act. God, be through me what you would have me to be. Be kind back to this person. Well, it brought me to a place where I know that chance was. And time and time again, when I was in graduate school, I learned a phrase from my professor, Dr. Ryan Reina. He was going through a lot of, of he was going through a glossary, actually, uh, actually, of definitions. And he came to a word. And the word is, I Morphic, which basically means same but different. But when he got to that word, oh, it was so powerful as it relates to relationships. And it means this. If someone is rude to me or to you, let's say if chance, I'm, I'm talking about chance, so I'll say if chance, if chance happened to say something very rude to me, my response, we know that's bad, but if my response to chance says more about me and my relationship to God, then it does chance. I'm going to say that again. If someone's rude to me, let's say chance himself says something very bad to me. My response to chance says more, it says more about me and my relationship to God than it does about chance. So this is about your own relationship. How am I doing spiritually? It says so much about my own spiritual life. So I've done a Susan Shares before about, you know, that we all ask each other, how are you doing? Fine, fine, fine. But do we ever say, how are you doing spiritually? Because this encounter that Chance had with whoever he had the encounter with says everything about how Chance was doing spiritually. If, Chad had, uh, if Chance had not been doing well, if his plumb line had not been good, Chance might have responded in a way that he had not walked away and felt good about. But with Chance plumb line being very good, being okay, and it's intentional daily, because remember Hosea says we're naturally drawn away, then he had a good encounter, and that's God in him him through him because it's right as someone quoted underneath chance none of us deserve grace it's true none of us do and God gives it to us anyway isomorphic means same but different my relationship with others should represent my relationship with God Ooh, that's a huge thing to say and that's why it's saying but very different but it says every single day every day how am I doing spiritually? How is my plumb line? Because it should be represented. I should, and every single day a prayer of mine is, God, help me to represent you well today. Every day I'm saying that. Every time I pray, I say, God, help me to represent you today. God, help me to represent you well today. And so and that's in every relationship. So it's isomorphic. So whoever you come and encounter with, so in chances encounter with this person, it said more about chance than it did that person. So think about that chance. It was so great doing ministry with you today. I wish we could do it more. So I love you and thank you for this piece that you so beautifully wrote and the thoughtfulness that you had because I know it was deep. I love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.